I'm going to show you how to create a fabulous ponytail on Olga. So let's start by sectioning the hair. Now I've already prepped Olga's hair with a little bit of mousse and some salt spray and I've blow dried the hair. I'm going to section the hair, the front section and our side sections. That's what you can do if you want to get quite a bit of bounce to your ponytail is curl all the hair using whichever technique you prefer to get the curl that you, the kind of look that you're going for. So if you want, Olga's hair has got a little bit of a beachy wave in it here, but you could equally do a traditional wind or the vintage curl technique. But what you could do, it depends how much curl you want in the hair. I'll just curl a couple of the sections just to show you, but I'm actually happy with the amount of curl that we've got here. But if you want a little bit more curl, then you can always use one of the different techniques that you've learned by now. So say you want to do the, the vintage curl technique to get a little bit more curl. Warm up the hair. And I'm just getting kind of chunks of hair here. It doesn't need to be too perfect, the sectioning. Once you've got your main section in position, with your top section here, your two side sections and that section at the front, then this kind of back section here, you see it's kind of like a half moon shape at the back of the head. And you can just curl these sections of hair. Let the hair heat come through just a little bit. So once you've got the salt spray in there, it usually is better and the mousse, and you've blow dried the hair, it's better to get some sort of heat on the hair with the tongs because then it gives the hair a little bit of shine and a bit of curve, a bit of movement to the hair. I already have heat protector on Olga's hair. So just make sure before you start using the tongs, all the straighteners, just make sure that you Put some heat protector in there. You could do this technique using the heated rollers. You could curl the hair with the heated rollers and then just take the hair out, create these sections and then just go straight for your style. So you know if you're doing maybe a, a trial run for somebody or you know maybe you want to pop the heated rollers in first, they're not sure what style they want to have, you can do this style without the texture, without the mousse and the salt spray in the hair. You can just get some volume in there from using the heated rollers or just the tongs or just the straighteners. So it's all flexible. They're all just different ideas and different options, all these different hair prep techniques. So that's our prep. We've got our side sections curled, our top section here. And as we come around to the back, we've got this section in the middle, which is the area where our ponytail is going to sit. And at the bottom, just that little bit of extra hair that's going to give us that extra little bit of oomph at the bottom. So once that's all cooled down, you can start to take that out. And then I'm going to leave the front and the side sections in. So now we could brush through the curls, but I think I might just leave them like that for now. And let's get some little bit of back combing. We'll leave the front sections and the side sections in, and let's just get a little bit of back combing in here. Fingers through. So here we're just back combing the section just on the crown. and at the back of the head. You'll find it does, certainly back comes really easily if you've got the mousse and the salt spray in there. Smooth the hair. So we've got a nice little bit of height there. 
Let's just get that section. That's it. Smooth that down. Then we're going to be pushing that up just a little bit and using one of my little snag free bands I'm going to get a tie a ponytail just here. I want the hair to be kind of quite flat to the head. Now you could use those kind of wrap around ties here to secure the hair. But you want this to be quite low down, not too high. That's it. And then we're going to pull these little bits of hair up to help with our little bit of texture that we want. Get this hair now as loose and as full as you want it to be. Set them then. We're going to start bringing in the rest of the hair. So now we've got our section here and I'm just going to clip that up and out of the way. And I'm going to create another ponytail here. A little bit of back combing just at the root. And let's create another ponytail quite close to this one here. So I want these ponytails to be close together, but I don't want to be catching any of the hair from the top ponytail in the bottom ponytail. That's it. So we've got two ponytails now. That's lovely. Thank you, Olga. You can let go. Then we can bring this back to here. Lovely. So now this is a little bit loose here, so I'm just going to grip this so it stays to the back of the head just by putting a grip across the back of that point of the band that's in there that's better just so it stays in position just going to put a little bit of extra strong hairspray on these sections here just to get that nice kind of textured look and I'm just using my Elnet Infinium extra strong hold. That's it, lovely. Just to get that little bit of extra lift there. And then our side section. So now it's up to you whether you go kind of super tight. Let's see if it suits Olga to come back. Would you like it quite tight or a little bit of softness, Olga, at the sides? Do you mm. think? Mm, softer. Softer? So kind of softly back with a little bit of width, yeah? Let's get a little bit of back coming here then, I think, as well. So you could, if you wanted to do, do a few little braids at the sides. Or you could use your little twist and pull. So we're going to bring the hair back. And I'm just going to loop it just over the ponytail just for now. And we'll come back and do the other side. A little bit of back combing, so we've got a little bit of softness. And we'll bring this back and let's check the mirror. And I think maybe that back, because we, we don't do very many clean styles, but I think it might be nice to have everything back maybe for a change. We might have some of this hair down, so we'll come back in a minute and get rid of, get rid of that bit of hair there. But let's just bring this bit back. That's it. Okay, so I'm happy with that now. So now what I'm going to do, so we know we're going to bring both those bits back and have them quite soft. And the next is the top bit. Bring this around the hair there, making sure I've got it as soft as we want it at the sides. Wrap it around and pop a little grip in the back. Pick up some hair that's gone into the ponytail and do our up and over. So here's the section of hair we want to secure and go into that hair that's gone into the ponytail, do our up and over and back in. Turn that a bit away and the same with this one. So I think I'm just going to, rather than wrapping this around, I'm going to add it with a band to the 
the rest of the ponytail because I don't want to make it too fat. Let's have a little play with these front sections. Might get a little bit of extra height here. That's it. So have a little play at the front and work out exactly how much height you want. And I think a little bit of extra height here would look great for Olga, not too much but just a little bit. You could put a bit of texturizing product in here. Let's just smooth that down, bring that down towards the ponytail. That's it. So we can get really a bit of height, but without having lots of back combing. Let's put a bit of texture in there with the texturizing dust. And then you can smooth out these sections of hair with a little bit of product on there. So we can get some lovely kind of sectiony bits and finish to the hair. So it's not going to be totally smooth. That's it. And bring that back and down to the bun. So now if you want to keep these sections looking a little bit separate, You can always pop a little bit of the, I'm using a little bit of the L'Oreal Techni Art glue here to hold them in position. You can also put a little pin on the hair. Just to help keep that textured look and shape. And keep everything a little bit kind of sectiony. It's got to be kind of a bit uneven. You don't want it all to look too perfect. Smoothness here. We can just give it a little bit of extra texture. That's the one. Then we're going to bring that down to the ponytail. Fasten that together with another band. And now let's have a little play before we take our sections out and finish our bun. Let's have a little look what we're going to do with this front section. And actually, you know what? It kind of, it's found its own way, I think, a little bit. Let's just check in the mirror. I think we can just play with bringing that bit in over the ear. Let's just tweak the style a little bit. Make sure you're happy with it. It's all looking very soft and gorgeous. Olga, is the hair parted? Do you prefer it to be parted a little bit more over here? Is that a little bit too far over? Would that be yeah, better? I have a little play and it's these little finishing sections, little finishing touches, I should say, that make all the difference. So I'm using one of the fine pins because we, se we need to secure this bit of hair in place. So using one of the fine pins, put a little tick in the end. And then you're going to go with the straight side of the pin, go into this lovely textured hair. Make sure you go into secure hair, pick up a little bit of hair and come out again. And then you're going to take the straight section of the pin up and over and then push the hair, the pin up and in. So that, that little bit of stray hair has found a home. Might do a little, another little up and over to hold that in invisibly. That's the one. Lovely. We're going to do get some of these little shorter bits of hair that we've got left because you don't need a lot of hair to do this next little bit and what we can do is get those short bits of hair and i'm going to spray it really well you're almost drenching the hair with the stronghold hairspray and we're going to wrap that around the ponytail you might need to wet it again if it's not quite wet enough. And then you're going to get your hair dryer, section of hair that's wrapping around the band and set it in place. 
So I can finish off. We can take our little pins out of the hair. They should have set nicely and kept that sh those little sectiony bits in position. And if we want to then, you could always go in and back comb the hair just a little bit to make it look a little bit kind of fuller and thicker. And it's up to you if you brush through the curls or whether you leave the curls just as they are. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, just click like and subscribe and join me on my next video.